You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP DNS. In this section, I'm going to configure the second example of F5 Global Site Load Balancer. This time with two F5 devices, each with both DNS and LTM modules, which are located in different data centers. We will also learn the iQuery protocol, which is used to monitor health and performance of remote F5 devices and also to synchronize global site load balancer configuration using big IP add and GTM add tools. This is the topology we will implement as the second configuration example for F5 DNS global site load balancer or GSLB. We have two data centers in the US and EU and in each data center there is an F5 device with both DNS and LTM modules. There are three servers responsible for the name www.raika-co.com two in US data center with the IP address 10, 111 and 112 and the other in EU data center with IP address 10, 113. Each F5 device had three interfaces in the zone management inside and outside with the subnet 1 slash 24, 10 slash 24, and 2 slash 24. All interfaces have an IP address with uh, 191 at the end in US data center and 192 in EU data center. In each F5 device, LTM module we create a virtual server to distribute traffic locally between servers in each data center with the IP address 2, 211 in US data center and 2, 212 in EU data center. In the F5 device DNS module, we create a wide IP for the name www.raikodashko.com with two pools, one for US and the other for EU, pointing to the LTM corresponding virtual server, which is 2.211 and 2.12. DNS GSLB configuration is configured on one F5 device only, and then the configuration is synchronized to the second F5 device. Finally, we will create a DNS listener on both F5 devices with the IP address 2.213 and 2.14 in US and EU data center. To begin the configuration, we start with LTM module configuration. In each big IP, we configure servers, pools, and virtual servers that exist in the same data center. I assume that we know the concept behind this configuration as we have discussed in F5 LTM course. First, in the first big IP, in the section local traffic, with the node list, we create two servers, server one with IP address 10, 111, and server two, with IP address 10, 112 and finish. We will do the same for EU data center, but with just one server, with the name server three and with the IP address 10, 113 and finish. Then we will create a pool for US underline pool health monitoring based on HTTP or web server and the node list we have two servers for the service HTTP 10.111 and server 2 and then finish it is expected that the S status will be green but before that we will configure also in the second big IP with the name EU underline pool and health monitoring again HTTP with just one node server 3 and for the service HTTP and finish and 
it is green and it is also green and in the final step we will create a virtual server in us data center us ltm underline virtual server and with the destination 211 192 168 to 211 and service http we will also enable translation with the automap we will enable http uh, profile protocol http profile and we will choose the pool the related pool us pool with the name of us ltm virtual server in the first f5 device and it is green and for the second also this is eu ltm virtual server with ip address 212 212 and service http and http profile http and we will also enable source not translation and the related pool eu pool and then finish it is expected to be green and everything seems to be fine in the next step we start to configure GSLB or Global Site Load Balancing in F5 DNS module. First, we create two data centers with the name US Data Center and EU Data Center. By configuring data centers, F5 has the opportunity to know the physical topology of servers, helping it to better decide how to distribute traffic between data centers. So, in the first big IP, in the section DNS module, and then data center we will create all the configuration will be done just in the first big IP and then we will synchronize GSLB configuration to the second big IP first uh, US underline data center we will not change anything we will discuss probing in the next sections and the second EU EU underline data center and finish in the first step, we have created two data centers. We then add all F5 devices in both data centers as physical servers in Big IP 1 DNS module. We only add all the configuration in Big IP 1 as I've explained earlier, and the configuration later will be synchronized to the second Big IP device. We have one f5 device in us data center and the other in eu data center in our example both dns and ltm modules are in the same f5 device but if they are in different devices we will add all of them as physical servers in f5 dns modules all f5 ltm devices and all f5 dns devices in the big ip1 in the section servers we will add the first big ip big ip1 dot raika dash co dot local with product type big ip and in the us data center we configure the external ip which is 192 168 to 191 as this is the interface through which incoming dns queries are received and then add and okay big ip as health monitoring because it is specific to big ip devices and we enable virtual discovery to automatically discover LTM virtual server. Discovery is automatic because LTM module is in the same F5 device as DNS module. If they are on different devices, you can add them manually 
or they will be discovered automatically when you create a trust relationship between local F5 DNS device and remote F5 LTM device and then finish and then we will create the second F5 device with the name big ip2 dot co dot local again the same product type in EU data center and with IP address 192.168.2.192 the IP address of the external interface helps monitoring big IP and again we enable and uh, we enable virtual server discovery if you add big ip1 and big ip2 f5 devices to the server list in dns module here you will notice that the local big ip1 f5 device is green but the remote big ip f5 device is blue and will be red after a while this is because you need to establish a trust relationship between big ip dns devices and between local big ip dns system and the remote big ip system using big ip add command utility you see at the moment this is green because i've already created the trust relationship between two big ip devices but i will repeat the command for you here you see the trust uh, relationship the certificate of both devices are already added if you uh, configure for the first time you see only the certificate of the local f5 device after running big ip add tool and then trust relationship will be established and the certificate will be copied between two f5 devices since i have done it beforehand so you see both of them are green here on the local f5 device we need to run big ip add a script let me connect to first big ip with ip address 1 191 the ip address of management interface we need to run big ip add a script with ip address of the remote f5 device that means big ip underline add the ip address of the remote is 1192 the management interface of the remote device this add the remote f5 device as a server object exchange ssl certificate and enable i query protocol and big 3d agent for communication and synchronization as well as monitoring the health and performance of remote f5 device but i will run the script again and password of the remote device is the same as local device if this is the first time that you are running this script you will receive also a server certificate error or warning that you have to verify before proceeding after running big ip at a script you will notice that a status of the remote f5 device is also green after creating a trust relationship between local and remote big ip devices if you check the virtual servers tab in each big ip devices you will see that LTM virtual servers are automatically discovered. Let's check in Big IP1 in the section virtual servers. You see US LTM virtual servers. And for the second device, Big IP2 virtual servers. Again, EU LTM virtual servers. This is because we have enabled automatic virtual server discovery.